Um, <laughs> the Guardian now, Josh, and uh, Tuesday's Guardian, clear evidence of discrimination in the nation. In the nation, <laughs> yes. Minority ethnic Britons, educational success, success not reflected in pay study findings. Now, this is one of those articles where... It's quite a lot of statistics, and then they keep flipping it this way and that. Yeah. And it's really hard to actually get to the, the nub of it. But basically, this IFS report, um, Institute for Fiscal Studies, found that um, ethnic groups are doing a lot better in terms of obtaining English and maths results, uh, exam results, uh, but their, essentially their money isn't going up. Yeah, uh, and actually, there's been there's been some real remarkable sort of improvements. They're saying here, like 15 years ago, Bangladeshi pupils were 10 percentage points less likely than white British pupils to obtain good results. Yeah, and now they're five percent uh, points more likely. So this is, I mean, this is good. And oh, there have been some extraordinary for, advances. For, yeah. So there are some specific uh, minority ethnic populations, communities, whatever, mm. who who do considerably better than the native white British. Absolutely. Boy, now, you know, now whether, now, whether it's reflected in incomes, they haven't really talked about how they got those figures. So yeah. if you're taking average incomes, well, you could argue that that hasn't really pushed through no. into higher earners yet, who are more like 20 years ahead. Exactly. So when you sort of, when you start using these kind of figures, it doesn't... It's always the thing that gets missed, is yeah. age. As you get older, you, you accrue more, more wealth and you earn more money. And it's always missed out because that's right. That's why they still, there's a, a gender pay gap among women. There aren't as many at board level because, you know, it was still 30 years lag from when the, the first great surge was created by Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, there's a few things about this. A professor here says it's evidence of discrimination in the labour market is clear. It's not clear, unless you mean when the BBC say the white people can't have this job. That's quite clear. <laughs> but it's, surely <laughs> people are looking for quotas and things, if anything. But I don't think it's clear. I think that that's their extrapolation. Really what it's saying is it's saying that uh, although people, uh, no, non-white people actually go into university more, yeah. they're, they're, yeah, their earnings aren't matched. But then it, it sort of forgets to mention what about the, all the white people that don't go to university at all we don't yeah. it doesn't talk about them but i understand the problem it's saying you might not earn as much as your white counterparts who are also graduates and but i don't know what the reason is i don't believe that that's clear evidence of discrimination i think there might be multiple reasons there are multiple reasons but also if, if, again it, the further you dig into it the more multivariate it, it becomes yeah. you know so there's more of them going to, to universities but not to the best universities well that might simply reflect the fact that there are far more universities than there were 20 years ago. I mean, vastly yeah, what, what, more, you know, and, and, they're, and they have the, the, value. the default thing to do at 18, yeah, yeah. haven't they? You know, so. Great inflation. And anyway, but it's nevertheless an interesting bunch of uh, statistics to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the best fizzle out of the story I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.